another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be kind of a shorter one, but it's whatever. Uh, leave a like. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to give away for free in this one. Um, I mean, leave some ideas if you can think of something. Anyway, this is going to be the liquify tutorial. Um, so yeah, so right here I just have this little AVI. Again, I'm using AVIs uh, in a lot of my demonstrations just because they're easy to make. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is when you want to put everything into a group first off so that uh, all your files are in a group. Uh, you want to close the group, do command J, which just duplicates it, and then command E. Now, again, I'll just go over that real quick if you don't have, if you have a PC or if it doesn't work. First off, for PC, it's just control, I think. But for some reason, if you don't have a keyboard, um, which I'm not sure how you'd find this video if you didn't have a keyboard, but let's just pretend you don't. You just want to go duplicate group, click OK, and uh, merge group. And so there. Uh, and then you just want to duplicate it again, um, mainly just for backup reasons. You don't have to do that. And so yeah, so then you got this little thing here, and then you can rename it, but if you don't have a keyboard, you can't rename it. But, so you want to go to, first off, first things first, is I like to add my looks to it first. You just want to click finish. Uh, make sure, if you aren't using this exact look, you want to make sure you have chromatic aberration on it. Uh, when you're doing AVIs at least, um, and click finish. If you're doing a banner, I probably just gave you really bad advice, but for AVIs it looks cool. So once you have that added on, uh, you wanna go to liquify. Anyway, so the uh, just gonna go through all these real quick. I don't, there's only one I use, but I'll get into that in a second. The, um, uh, the forward tool is kinda what you use to move all this around. The, uh, whatever this tool is, I don't know what you do with it. I still have yet to find out because it doesn't do anything. Uh, the pucker tool sucks things in, like makes it small. Then you have like a thing that makes everything big. So you know if we just switch this to like 200, uh, you can just hold right here. And, which I, I mean honestly, like I'm sure you could find something cool to do with this. And then you have this, which I, I, I don't know how you control it. But if you want your AVI to look like that, you can do that. And then you have your obviously magnifying glass. Uh, now for the brush side, well, okay, so first off you want to switch back to the forward tool, which is just like the first one. And uh, you want to switch the brush size to about like 45 kind of. Um, and you should click enter, only click it once. And um, so yeah, so just around 45. Uh, then you can, as you can tell, you can kind of drag things down. Now this is where you kind of get this, I guess you could say drip effect. So the problem with this though is that I see a lot of people overdoing this. So I'm probably just gonna add it like right here. And the other cool thing about it though is obviously you can add this like all around the uh, the banner. And so with this, you don't want to add too like much of a drip. Uh, and honestly, adding too many of them just looks weird. Like honestly, just add like one, and it looks cool. Sometimes you don't even have to add any. I, I would suggest not adding this to every single banner. And so. Uh, Really with this, it's kind of, it's very weird, especially just depending on the AVI and banner. The Synergy logo is kind of hard to do this with because everything's so compacted. Uh, just for the sake of the tutorial, a few more, or I'll add a few more, I mean, you want to make sure it's kind of straight. And uh, when you're in more narrow spots, you want to switch it down, so I'll switch it down to like 35. Uh, so then when you drag it down, there's less of it, and because then you see it starts to go into the AVI, and then you got to move it up. Um, so we'll just add a few more. Again, I don't think this looks good, personally. Personally, with like the Synergy logo, it's kind of hard to do the drips with, uh, mainly because there's just not really a lot of space to do it. Uh, but for the sake of the tutorial, I will add some, just to kind of give you guys some advice. Uh, I mean, that, that looks fine, to be honest. I actually kind of like that now. I mean, that looks cool. Uh, again, just don't add too much. The reason why you want to do this before, or the magic bullet looks before, is because when you switch this back to 40, if you just kind of drag this down, you get this like really cool, like RGB split color look, and it looks really cool. Uh, because when you, it looks kind of weird zoomed out, but when you zoom away, like you can really tell it's there, and it looks really cool. Again, I know kids are gonna like overdo this, so don't overdo it. Really, just only do it on like glitch style uh, AVIs. Um, 
so yeah, uh, but pretty much this is that's about it for this liquify. Uh, really just adding drips and kind of doing this cool RGB split. Again, don't add too much. Uh, kids over, always, always overdo things, I see at least. And so yeah, so that's about it for this though. Um, uh, there are a lot of things you know you can do. Um, so yeah, so you get that and I mean it looks pretty sweet, you know. Uh, so again, just for like um, banners, uh, here's just an example. I, I did this, again I'm pre-recording this, this is my most recent banner. Um, but, you know, I just kind of did it with this hand here. I thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's really about it for this one. Um, again, like I said, leave a like. I don't know what I'm going to give away for free in this one. Um, but, that, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment for suggestions if you have any. Uh, like I said, I am pre-recording these, so it is going to be kind of hard to do that. But uh, always feel free to leave those because I'm going to try to do tutorials. Uh, after this whole 25 days of Christmas thing, so definitely leave some leave some ideas for me. Uh, but with that being said. Uh